Global Banking and Finance Review Awards reflect the innovation, achievement, strategy, progressive and inspirational changes taking place within the global financial community. The awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes, prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. We are pleased to offer an award to Omnibisic Bank in Ghana. Headquartered in Accra and with 40 branches across the nation, Omnibisic has become one of the most successful banking mergers in Ghana and has become a bigger and stronger bank. Continuous innovation is a critical part of the culture. The bank strives to constantly introduce state-of-the-art technology in its processes, products and service designs. Furthermore, the culture of innovation is spearheaded by the bank's people, who are committed to continuous product and service improvement. Staff training and capacity building is a top priority to ensure the bank keeps up high standards of knowledge, professional conduct and service excellence. Omnibesic attracts key talents from within the country and beyond. Global Banking is glad to award Omnibesic fastest growing corporate bank 2023. We were pleased to welcome Managing Director Daniel Asudu to London to officially receive the awards and later he spoke to Glenn Thompson about the bank's success and plans for the future. Daniel Asiodu, Managing Director of Omni Basic Bank Ghana Limited. Welcome to our studios here in London. Nice to see you and congratulations on the award. Uh, Omni Basic Bank's recognition as the fastest growing corporate bank in Ghana in 2023 is a notable achievement, as we can see by the award. Can you share with us the key strategies and decisions that fueled the growth, uh, especially focusing on how the merger between Omni Bank and Sahel Sahara Bank catalyzed this success? Thank you very much, and uh, it, uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here. Uh, I'm excited about it. Uh, thank you also for the congratulatory message as well. Um, yes, um, we are excited that we are the faster growing bank in Ghana, and, and this growth is actually evidenced by how our growth has been phenomenal in the last um, one year especially. If you look at our profitability growth, it, uh, it's about uh, year on year, 2022 compared to 2023, about 217% growth. Uh, balance sheet size in terms of total asset has grown by about 86%. Deposits grew by about 93%. Uh, return on equity, 27, 26% thereabout. Uh, investment, huge investment in, in liquid assets. And so if you look at the indus banking industry in Ghana, certainly we are the fastest growing bank. And again, these numbers have um, made other um, organizations to recognize us as, as the best bank in Ghana. And so we are quite excited about it. And this has come about because of the way we've gone about doing business in Ghana. We realized that, um, of course, after the, the, the merger of the two S-Wild Banks to form uh, Omni Basic Bank, we realized that we cannot be, be like any other bank, but we had to be different. And so we tried to be different in our approach to doing business. Uh, we felt that customers were tired of the the old ways of doing banking, so we try to be innovative and creative, and we believe that is what has brought us thus far, ensuring that we have the right people, ensuring that we have the right systems and processes, ensuring that we have the right uh, tools to serve our customers. And we are excited that we are the fastest growing bank in Ghana. Great. Now, with a strong emphasis on customer service, what innovative approaches has Omnibusic Bank adopted to enhance customer experiences, which is all important, isn't it? Yeah. How have these initiatives contributed to customer satisfaction and loyalty? And in what ways have they impacted the bank's performance overall, would you say? Thank you very much. Uh, again, if you look at uh, the vision of the bank, we say we want to be the, the best uh, bank in terms of uh, provision of uh, customer service uh, delivery, and then uh, value creation for all our stakeholders. And so everything we have done is geared towards fulfilling this uh, vision, and we've gone about it pretty well. What we have done is that, like I said earlier, we, we made sure that we selected the right people. We made sure that uh, we had the right uh, platforms. We made sure that uh, we had the right service tools to serve our customers. And, and it is interesting because what we, tr we do also is that um, every relationship that we have, we treat it as, as very important to the bank. And so we assign individuals to make sure that customers' needs are met. And, and, and of course, we, we, we go about it pretty well. 
uh, unlike you know banking has 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 gotten to the point where you have to make sure that you understand the customer's needs and that's what we try to do and we believe that these are the things that has uh, distinguished us from the pack and that's why today we are the fastest growing but we are the best banks uh, bank in Ghana. Now we're of course in an era of digital banking it's becoming increasingly important isn't it how has uh, Omni Basic Bank integrated new technologies to enhance its banking services would you say? So, um, thank you very much once again. Um, uh, technology, uh, uh, we are in the year of, uh, in, the, in, the, in the time of technology, and you cannot survive as an institution, or especially as a financial institution, if you don't leverage on the right technology, provide services uh, uh, to your customers. And so the first thing we did as, 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 as a bank, uh, coming out of two elsewhere well bank, is to make sure that uh, we have the best um, software to serve our customers, and so we changed uh, our means of uh, the core banking application to make sure that we, we went for the best. And then attached to this, uh, leveraging on, on that, we made sure that we had all the ancillary uh, um, softwares that can write on this main software to serve our customers. And that has really helped. That's because we realized that um, Ghana has a population of, of over 30 million people. And of, uh, if you look at the no number of mobile handsets in, in, in use, over 40 million. And so if we have almost everybody in, in the country using, uh, you know, phone, then it, I mean, it goes without saying that most people want to uh, leverage on, on the gadgets they have to, 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 to do banking. And so we have to make sure that we bring banking to the palm of our customers. And that is what we have done. And so a lot of our, our products and services ride on, on technology and we are constantly reviewing our technological platform to make sure that we, we, we go for the best, we make sure that we have the latest to serve our customers. And I, I will tell you that our customers are quite excited about it because of the way technology is being used by our bank to, to, to serve them. And it's keeping on top of that technology. It's moving at such a rate, isn't it now? Yeah, yes, yes. It really is. is. Can you provide examples for us of recent digital initiatives and their impact on both the bank and its customers? So, so, so a, a good example is the internet banking that, uh, that we have rolled out. And our internet banking is such that uh, at the comfort of your home, your office, you can do all the banking activities I can think of other than withdraw cash because you, you actually have to uh, go to an ATM or go to the banking or to withdraw cash. But other than that, you can do almost everything. And, and I think our customers are excited about it. That's because if we, customers can use the internet platform to do banking, then it saves you the, the time and the energy of having to drive um, down to a, a branch of the bank to do your business. It saves you the time of having to, you know, move all over the place to transact a business. It also saves you the time of coming to the bank to do some of the things that you can do at the comfort of your home. So that uh, is a, a good example of how our customers are, are being served. And I, I think they are quite excited about it. Omni Basic Bank serves a wide range of industries, doesn't it, with tailored banking solutions. How does the bank's approach to innovation enable it to meet the unique financial needs of those uh, diverse sectors? Thank you once again. Um, so uh, perhaps we're one, one of the few banks in Ghana who run along sectorial lines in terms of how we are structured. And that's because we, we, we have people who, who, who have expertise in specific sectors of the economy. And so if you come to our bank, you will see that in the corporate banking space, we still have telecoms, um, um, uh, we have um, individuals who specialize in the telecom areas, we have individuals who specialize in oil and gas areas, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the, what that does is that it, make, it makes them understand the sectors where the, 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 we do banking. And so mm -hmm. if you bring specific um, pro, if you bring specific needs to the bank, these are people who speak the language of your sector. And so what we have done is to say that every relationship we have for people to understand that relationship so that we can develop uh, products and services to meet the specific needs of that, of that customer. Unlike the traditional banks where it's a generic product, where you have to just take it or leave it, but we make sure that once we come near a relationship, that relationship uh, gives us opportunity to understand your business. And based on the, and the experience and expertise we have, we design products and services to meet your specific needs. And so you discover that we, we not only do we have just generic product, but we have specific product for specific sectors. And even within the sector, we still have specific product 
for the individual businesses within the sector. And we believe that that's what makes us unique from the other banks. Let's talk briefly about corporate clients, if we can. What role do uh, customised solutions play in strengthening your relationships with them? So, so like I said, what it does is that it, it makes them uh, appreciate the fact that we, we, we value their business. It makes them appreciate the fact that we are with them. It makes them appreciate the fact that we, we, we speak their language. And it gives them competitive edge because if you have a bank that designs product to meet your specific need, then it gives you an advantage in the marketplace. And our customers are quite excited about it. There are instances where we've had to you know, work with the customers to even move banking to their, to their premises. So we have what we call the implant tailoring, where if you, your business generates a lot of cash, then we come in there, create a small office where our staff is seconded to your place to make sure that the banking activities is taken off you and all that. And, and these are specific products that is making the corporate customers, all our customers excited about doing business with us. Okay, fair to say, isn't it, that the banking sector consolidation by the Bank of Ghana has reshaped the financial landscape, hasn't it? How has OmniBisic navigated these regulatory changes and what impact have they had on the bank's strategies, would you say? Thank you once again. Um, so um, for us, uh, first of all, um, the banking consolidation was necessary at the time when it happened. This was 2018 thereabout. And, and that's because as banks and financial institutions, um, our size and our strength of doing businesses had been, had been eroded in terms of our capital and the, 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 the devaluation of the, the local currency, which is the city. But so consolidation there helped us to make sure that we increase our capital and we increase our base, and that, that really helped. And of course, that is what created uh, Omni Basic Bank out of the two elsewhere banks. Now, having said that, so with, with our capital, a robust capital, it gives us, gave us the opportunity to do bigger uh, uh, the ticket transactions. It gave us the opportunity to improve on our system structures and all that. I talked about changing our core banking application, and that is because uh, we had the resources and, uh, and all that to be able to do that. So that is just on the consolidation side. And when you talk about the regulation side, again, regulation, we view regulation positively because regulation helps us to, to, to be on our toes to make sure that we, 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 we give up our best. And so um, every regulation that the central bank has, has come up with, we make sure that we align and we continue to align. And I must say that it's, it's helped us come thus far because we don't think this for granted. Like me, perhaps if there was no regulation, we would have. And that has really helped us. And uh, the bank is positioned in such a way that every regulation that um, the central bank uh, releases, we're able to comply because we see it, 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 that, at, at, it, we see it benefiting us as against it being a stumbling block in our business. Let's talk about sustainability, if we can. Uh, balancing commercial success with community responsibility is crucial, of course, in today's banking sector. How does OmniBasic Bank integrate sustainability, that good word there, yeah. into its business model? And what initiatives are in place to actively engage and support the communities that you actually operate in? Thank you. Um, I guess um, uh, you all agree with us that, with me, that. Um, our world is, is, is in such a, a, a time where we have to be careful how we treat the environment. And so that's why ESG and sustainability is quite key. And for us in Omni Basic Bank, um, what we have done is to make sure that we have a full-fledged department that's in charge of um, ESG to make sure that the transactions we do have a positive impact on the environment. Uh, the businesses we support don't affect the environment negatively. And everything we have done in the last few years make sure that they align with this. Uh, there are some transactions we will not support or we will not uh, fund if it impacts the environment negatively. That's because we have to make sure that uh, the environment is not polluted. And so the, 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 the ESG de department within the risk management group ensures that we, are, we comply. And all our processes and our systems uh, 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 we have to make sure that they comply with ES, the necessary ESG requirement. Uh, thankfully, there's regulation along these lines, so it's even helping us the more to make sure that we, we comply the more. Uh, beyond that, uh, we also believe that in the communities where we operate, we have to give back. And so we do a lot of small judgment in terms of corporate social responsibility as an organization. Uh, we sponsor need, uh, bright but needy children. We support uh, communities uh, to do some you know, development is required and all that. And so we, we are very conscious of the fact that we have to give back to the community and also ensuring that everything we do is environmental friendly in terms of the funding we provide.
Now, we don't have the crystal ball in front of us, yeah. Daniel, but uh, looking to the future, what next then for Omni Seek Bank, would you say? Thank you once again. Um, again, for, for us, uh, the last um, two, three years have been quite exciting, and we think that the future is even looks very bright. Uh, and that's because if you look at our growth and how we keep growing, uh, we have just released our first quarter result for 2024, and it's looking very good and very bright. It means that this year is going to be good. And that's because our vision, like I said, is to make sure that we are number one bank in terms of customer service delivery and value creation for all our stakeholders. And everything we do is geared towards ensuring that we fulfill this. So all our processes are, are, are such that we have to, it, it addresses this. And so into the future, we think that for as long as we are doing the right things and we are, for as long as we are, uh, you know, doing what is expected of us in, and, and ensuring that we are living the vision, we will ultimately be the best bank in Ghana. Thank you. Once again, congratulations on the award. Daniel Asiudu, Managing Director of Omni Visic Bank Ghana Limited. Thanks for joining us today at the Hand London Studios. Thank you very much, Greg. It's, it's a pleasure being here. Thank you.